Hello guys and welcome to this video. Today I'm introducing Laravel Bazooka uh, that lets you inject controlled chaos in your Laravel application. Whether you want to test um, exceptions, simulating failures, uh, or testing the resilience, just having fun, it's, um, it makes it super easy. So let's inject some chaos. Right now uh, I have a fresh installed Laravel app. So if I run uh, the test suite with past, obviously it will work perfectly. So what I'm gonna do here is it's installing Laravel Bazooka uh, through Composer. Okay, and what you wanna do is to publish the config file because it's disabled by default. So let's publish it. And this is where the magic happen. In the config directory, you have the Bazooka PHP file and you can enable it here and crank it the probability um, of Bazooka to inject chaos in your method, controller's method. Let's crank it up to 50%. And um, basically, we have two disrupt strategies, uh, latency or exception, okay? You can control it here. And now let's just inject chaos. So uh, I'm gonna run this comment, PHP Artisan Bazooka Inject. If you want to target a specific controller, you can add it uh, with the option controller, but let's go. I open here, I clear my controller and I run this command and I can see clearly a list of the controllers that has been injected, that has been given chaos. So here I can see that 10 methods have been uh, corrupted. So let's now run, oh, before we run the test, I wanna show you something. You can here uh, run PHP Artisan Bazooka list uh, to have a better view of uh, what controllers, what methods um, are chaotic. So now let's just run the test suite and as expected, we can see that either it throws an exception or it runs a long query. So it's basically chaotic control. So now, because it is control, controlled chaos point, you can obviously remove them. With PHP Artisan Bazooka, remove, dry run to have a look at what's gonna be removed. And when you're okay with that, you simply run Bazooka remove and boom, remove 10 chaos point in total. So uh, let's run the test suite again. And here we go, we're back to uh, safe point. Thank you.